Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're in Manti, Utah for the Rat Fink reunion. Let me tell you, this is an amazing event. It actually started yesterday at the home of the late, great Ed, Big Daddy Roth. Ed's wife, Eileen, graciously opens up the home, the museum, for a true trip back through time. There were 50 plus artists there, airbrushing, pinstriping, and generally chilling. And then today, everybody descends on the city park here in Manti for a true Rat Fink happening. This is gonna be a blast. Let's get thinking. Can I take it for a spin? <laughs> Ray, my friend, good to see you again. Dennis, good to see you. This really is amazing. I mean, you were you were telling me about it, and I thought, yeah, nice show, you know, Rat Fink. I was a huge Big Daddy fan. But yesterday, at the Ross Estate, you know, at Ed's place, and Eileen opens up uh, the whole house, the museum, it's amazing. It is. She opens her house Thursday, so it's a three-day event, and it brings in artists and pinstripers, airbrush artists from all over the United States, and some big names. You got 50 plus artists here? Yes, we do. We're probably around 60 plus right now. Ed made it not only okay to be weird, Ed made it cool to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was suddenly cool to be weird, and he, he just did amazing things, and so much of it is gathered and collected here. It's just, mm -hmm. I can't believe what you got. Well, thank you. Since he passed away, we decided we needed to create an area to display rat think items because yeah. it didn't exist at all. But you've, the stuff you got, you got some of the original silk screens. You've got, yes. you know, the original drawings. I mean, some of the you know, original models, even his workshop. Well, and I, the car show has been amazing. In our small town, we need to keep it small. Mm -hmm. We need a small car show. But the quality and the uniqueness. Unique, well, that, it's, that's it's kind of the theme. Really Everything here is just really, really unique. Yeah. I grew up with Big Daddy Ed Roth and right, Rat stuff. Too. And I mean, it was such, such a, he was such a cultural icon and, and he just changed everything. You know, it's a cool place. She's such a gracious host. She hostess. is. And it is just beautiful down here. You it got is. some wild cars. They're coming from all over. We've got them from New Mexico, Michigan, Canada. I mean, they are, they're from all over. And quite a curious mix because there's, there's everything from the kind of stuff you'd expect at the Rat Fink reunion, pretty, pretty wild stuff, to some really amazing show cars. High here. dollar cars. High dollar cars. Yeah. yeah. And you got, you know, you had all those artists, all those stripers, they're doing stuff which is being auctioned off. Anything that Eileen generates from the show goes back to the city to improve the park and different things. Well, she's, she's an amazing lady. Uh, Ed Roth was an amazing man. And Manti is a pretty cool place. It is a cool place. Let's go look at some of these, these rat rods. Let's this do is it. wild rat rods. I saw one over okay. here. Well, Scott, this is a nice ride. I like this. This is a, it's a, it's a 54. 54 oh. Skyliner. Skyliner, which you don't see a lot of chopped Skyliners. Not, not with the glass roof like that, you don't. <laughs> no, you really don't. You really don't. I love the color of it. It's kind of a burgundy candy bird. burgundy wine color yeah. yeah real subtle pinstripe too a little bit of tone on tone with the uh, the pinstriping oh, and very nice one of the things caught my eye was the grill i'm used to seeing the modified grills typically right. desoto right. grill teeth what's that from what are those <laughs> those are actually reverse spotlights those are spotlights those are spotlights they must yeah. be little ones they're smaller than those but slightly smaller yep holy but those God. are, one, those two, are all three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them you know i like that and i like what they did with the bumper i mean this is really a beautiful clean very clean very clean end. very yeah, clean man. yeah so but was it always a sunliner no from what i understand it started out as a victoria and then did a Sunliner conversion? And then they did the, yep, then they did a Skyliner conversion with the... Oh, the, the, the Skyliner, that's right, yep. it's a Skyliner. This must be an aftermarket dome or something because that, they almost always delaminate it. Yes. Quite a chop on it, too. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I like it. Well, once you sit up in there with the dome, you're just fine. Just got to watch your head getting in. <laughs> <laughs> did the Skyliners have this T-Bird-esque, uh, you know, window in the speedometer? You know, I, I believe they did, but yeah, I'm not quite it, sure. It looks like it, sure looks like it. Good looking, you know, skirts which are molded in. Are they steel? They are steel, yes. Man. Steel skirts. What's the tail light? It's a mid 50s Buick. They almost look um, Skylark, you know, like a 54 Skylark or something. Really cool. So I, I gotta believe with all the work that was done, there's been some mods on the engine. Let's go look and see what you got. Absolutely. Oh wow, Thunderbird Special? Is that it? Thunderbird, 0312. No kidding. Yep. Man. Thought of a 56 T Bird. With the three carb setup, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think that was his own twist on that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like it. So do you drive it or is it just a show car? You know, at this point, uh, I've just been showing it lately, but uh, I've driven it around town a little bit. Gets lots of looks. Oh, of man, I, a, I believe it's it. It's an attention magnet, which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> man, she looks really nice. Have you been to the Rat Fink reunion before? First time. Oh, really? First time. That's so right. This is an experience, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool show, and this is a, just a great looking car. 54 Ford, kind of Skyliner, chopped, modded, beautiful car, man. Thank you very much, Dennis. Harold, this is a spectacular car. This baby is beautiful. 39 Buick, right? 39 Buick Special. It is stunning, and it's looking at it, it doesn't look like the body's modified at all. The body's totally stock, 40 Ford windshield wiper blades, mm -hmm. but other than that, it's totally stock. So that's the 39 that's grill? That's the grill. That's the thing I fell in love with when oh, I seen man, the it's car. It's like the Y that, job, really. It's like, like the... that elephant nose, yeah, yeah, is yeah. what I called it. And then these are 39 headlight buckets? The buckets are everything are 39. The glass is 39 original, uh -huh. but behind the glass is a sill beam. Uh -huh, it gives nice. you a high low beam and park lights, turn signals. Your color combo is great. It's kind of a dark silver and then kind of a dove gray, but there's metal flake in it. And, and when they told me they were going to put orange between the two, I thought they were crazy. But it works. I mean, oh, it just yeah. it works fantastically. Yeah, it just pops the two right out, oh, you know? It really does. Outside's not modified, inside is, and it's spectacular. I mean, Well, this... you know, it's got the wood grain dash was 39, but not this particular design. Well, it's so unique. I've never seen wood graining quite like it. And it really works in here. I guess that's your park brake, your emergency down there. That's a, you did wood grain uh, the handle on it. Yeah. Your pedals are beautiful. Yeah. She's suicide door, right? Yeah. Can I open it? You betcha. Oh, you know, that's like, that I is love, like I, on display, isn't I it? I love the love seats for <laughs> seats in this. You know, oh, you, she is just beautiful. And then again, the, back to the back windows open. They slide do open, yeah. And the bustle trunk. Yeah. And even the tail lights are. The tail lights are stock. Stock outside, beautifully modified inside. Let's go see what you got under the hood. Let's do. Oh wow! Now that's pretty nice. What, what are we looking at? We're looking at LS2 out of a 2005. Wow. The Pontiac engine. I love the these. GM. Air cleaner on it. That's Buick right there. Those are the classic, what do I call them? Ventiports from a yep. newer Buick, right? Yep. Well, it is it is just spectacular. And this baby's won some awards. Yes, it has. This this particular car was the first four door to ever win America's most beautiful street rod of good guys. It's won the Wasatch Cup in Salt Lake. Uh, it won Utah's finest this year. Hey, uh, it's just getting going. This baby's got a lot of more words to, to win. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you, Dennis. 39 Buick Special with the Kindig Touch. With the Kindig Touch. I love it. Thank you. Doug, this is a wild ride. And, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big Model T guy. But this one is so cool, I just I could not pass it up. 1920, and it's a center door. That's what that's what got me. That's a pretty rare body style. First enclosed car that Ford Motor Company ever built. It's so tall. That's the beauty of it. It's like <laughs> riding in a scenic cruiser bus. But it's it's really, again, it's the center door. That, yes. Can I open it up? Absolutely. <laughs> that's just so wild. Henry Ford hired coach builders to build the it, body. It looks like a coach built and car. It built does. it like Cinderella's coach. <laughs> but you've made it uh, comfortable to cruise in. It's comfortable to cruise in. It has air conditioning, stereo, disc brakes, tilt steering. And I like the theater seating. This back seat puts the passenger up and they can probably look right over you. The passenger looks right over your head and they see everything that I can see. So it's the ultimate backseat driver car. Yes. I like what you've done in the back here, This the chromed out tank. That wasn't the original placement though, was it? No, originally it sat under the driver's seat. And it also, it looks really cool back here. And how about the, are these? That's what the original taillights looked like. These were oil reservoirs and this was the chimney. The lens opened and you lit the wick. Oh, wow, really nice. It's but then you built this too. Because this? you have to take luggage with you. We travel in the car, we drive the car. What was this made out of? That whole body is made out of 18 gauge sheet metal. I built the trailer. You've done a great job matching the paint and everything. I, I love it. But I saw that you weren't sporting a Model T engine either. Let's go look at that, baby. Nope, no Model T. She goes all the way over? Yes, oh, okay. all the way over. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
So, okay, it's a six. It's 3. a V6. 3.8 liter Buick V6. Really? You yes. mean like the Grand National type? Like the Grand National type Buicks, only this one does not have the turbo. But does this, I mean, this really works well in this car? It works fabulous. This is really a unique car. You've done a great job on it. It's a 20, did you say? 1920, 1920 yes. Center, Center door, door T. Model T sedan. Man, like this is a, and I'm not a T guy, <laughs> but this is a cool T. Yeah, this is a nice T. Myron, I dig this. I dig this ride, and 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 I actually saw it well yesterday out at, at uh, the Roth Estate, you know, at the Rat Fink reunion. It's Chevy through and through, right? 100% Chevy. What year? 1941. You've squished the bed. You must have cut down the tailgate. Yes. Yes, the tailgate's cut. The bed's cut and narrowed. Lengthened in the front. Left stock in the back. These are your reserve uh, gas cans, that in case you my, want to. That's my gas tank. That, that is your gas tank. Yeah, fill one. They're all plumbed together. So what's this? That's my ice chest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I expected it. I expected more. I must say. <laughs> but it's a very cool ice chest. Yeah. And you got cheater slicks on it. Yes, sir. Your bed's basically sitting on the slicks. This can't be the right height. No, it's on bags. Is this old barn wood or something? Well, it's uh, new wood that I've burnt and made look old. Oh, you, you antiqued it. Yes. You aged it. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you certainly uh, squished your rear window. Five inch chop, four inch section and then I didn't channel it. Magoo was pinstriping Magoo, this. yes sir. I mean, talk about a legend doing, you know, a really crazy car here, man. <laughs> and your lavish interior down here is pretty darn cool. What are the seats? The seats are just made seats, it's a kit. Uh-huh, steering wheel? The steering wheel is a 1946 Chevy. And how about your shifter there? I made it as a cane because my boys call me old man. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty much the original dash. It's right? all original dash, original header, original trim. I cut the window five inches. It's all operable. I mean, you cut the window so much, and then you got a visor out over. What? You, how do you see? It's totally different when you're sitting inside of it. Uh -huh. you're, you're seeing the, the hood ornament. You're looking down both sides. Okay, but this was it. When I saw this the other night on a trailer, it was this setup that just blew me away. And this is some old school turbine blower, right? It's a 1953 Orban house. This is a dragster style and it's designed for quarter mile. It has a fin turbine. So it's sucking through your carburetors into the turbine and then pushing it down into your intake. You had toggle switches in there. Was one of them to? One of them controls the blower. So it's like an on-demand blower. Right. You need to be full throttle to make this thing function correctly. Uh huh. When you're wide open, Flip the switch and there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's the engine? The engine's a 1985 454. It's a big engine for this little yeah. baby. Yeah. Original drum brakes? Original drum brakes. And did you have to design the steering? I built everything off the original steering box. I wanted that look coming off the side of the cab. Oh, it looks it looks not definitely only. different. Oh, it's yeah. but I tell you, this blower blows me away. <laughs> I just I love this thing. Well, so 41 Chevy, Chevy pickup. Pickup. Half ton. Half ton 454 with a what blower? It's a Orban House, 1953 Orban House. Man. Paul, this is cool. Um, a Roadster pickup, basically, right? Right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I've ever seen one quite like it. This is a 67 Chev. Right. Did you build it? I did. I, it started out as a long fleet side when I got it. It was an old farm truck. Really? It was. You dropped it down. Is this the ride height or is it on air? It, no, it's the ride height. Really? Uh, I didn't want to. Uh, Did you cut the springs or what? No, I put lowering springs okay. and drop spindles in it. Really? Man, cleaned up the whole front end. What's the bump? You did something to the bumper. Well, I cut the bumper off um, right above the bolt holes and uh -huh. I trimmed the ends, welded my brackets on the back. Wow. And tucked it in closer and then put a roll pan under it. How about this grill well, around? I took the turn signals out of the lower grill yeah. and I put an upper grill return down here. I put the turn signals in the that headlights. That is really sharp. You obviously chopped down the windshield. We took five inches out of the windshield wow. and leaned it back about right. another 10 degrees. It's pretty red. Is it a torch red? Or? I call it apple red. It's a Sherwin William color. Uh huh. And it's just as red inside as it is outside. You kept the stock layout. I mean, that's in fact, that's a stock gauge. It is, stock gauges with factory tack. It's a step side now. It There's is. a fleet side to begin with. And is that walnut? No, it's for mica. It's for mica. <laughs> you know, I like that, and it's very durable. This looks wider. It is. I widened the bed four inches in order to run these 18 and a half inch wide Mickey Thompsons. And you got the exhaust coming out uh, the pan down here, and you Frenched in the taillights. You got the scoop there. You've obviously got some tricks under the hood. Let's go have a look at that engine. Okay. 
Is that a turbocharger? It is. It's an old Ray J turbocharger. Wow. It's old school. <laughs> Martin split manifold. It's a 355 small block with uh, Corvette angle plug heads. You cleaned up the engine bay and everything. This is really nice. And you did all this too? I did. Uh, actually, I have a homemade brake that I made the inner fenders with. You do some really nice sheet metal work. Oh, thank you. Well, there's a screaming red truck. 67 Chevy Roadster pickup. Yes. Oh, nice job on thank that. Thank you. Thank I you like guys. it. <laughs> oh, man. The Rat Fink reunion is an amazing happening. It's a great car show, but the Ed Roth Museum alone is worth a trip to Manti, Utah. Rat Fink rules.